we'll start with Thursday Night Football. We have the Buffalo Bills going to Miami to take on the Dolphins. Dolphins favored by two. The total is 49. Who do you like? Uh, I'm going with Matt Collins at $1,600. And we finally got uh, our first week of seeing how this like Bills wide receiver room would kind of shake itself out. And I kind of had a sneaky suspicion that uh, Hollins could like take over the Gabe Davis role completely. And that seemed to be the case in week one. Uh, he ran around on 67% of Josh Allen's dropbacks, caught two balls for 25 yards and a touchdown, which is kind of a Gabe Davis type of line, uh, for being <laughs> honest. Um, but, you know, I think out of these these guys, MVS is a, the other guy I thought would compete for the Gabe Davis role, and he, he still can. But I think Hollins is the guy where – if Josh Allen's going to throw the ball downfield, I think Hollins is the most likely guy uh, to be the target. Um, and there was a ton of wind in Buffalo uh, in that Cardinals game. So probably limited, you know, Josh Allen's YOLO nature when it comes to just chucking the ball downfield. Uh, should have much better weather here in Miami on Thursday night football. So I think we could see a deep shot to Matt Collins here. Uh, plus, you know, he is a decent red zone target. He's the kind of guy that just always overachieves, it seems like, wherever he goes. Um, so this is the perfect situation, I think, for him in Buffalo after both Diggs and Gabe Davis left. Um, plus, Jalen Ramsey was, you know, limited with that hamstring injury. This is a short week, so I don't know if he's going to be even close to 100% here. Um, he, he got beat by Brian Thomas Jr. Brian Thomas Jr. should have scored two touchdowns. Jalen Ramsey decided, just, oh, I'm going to tackle him instead of letting him catch this touchdown. So, uh, you know, Matt Collins might draw some Ramsey, but again, Ramsey's not 100%. Not worried about that. I think his roster ship might be pretty high, to be honest, at 1600 But I don't care. I think that that upside is worth it, uh, even if he is a bit chalky. But I'm going to go with Matt Collins here for Thursday Night Football. Yeah, and I think now's the time you want to invest in Matt Collins. I mean, that sounds ridiculous because you I mean, <laughs> rarely ever want to invest in Matt Collins, let's be honest. Right. But uh, Joe Brady's man crush Curtis Samuel is lurking and this is a short week. So Samuel only ran around on what, like 13% of Allen's dropbacks. I think eventually you're going to have Keon Coleman, Shakir and Samuel as the top three. But for right now, just because, you know, Holland's played better in camp, Samuel missed some time. This is still, it's not a new, like new offensive coordinator for Samuel, but still going to a new offense, new quarterback. So I think, and you know, Holland's is a better blocker and they love, uh, to run it now in Buffalo. That's their new thing. You know, they, they handed to James <laughs> Cook a ton. Yep. So I think this is the time, but eventually I am expecting Hollins to settle in as like the jack of all trades, number four guy who can play, you know, the, the X or the Z kind of like, so he could kind of take snaps, you know, if Coleman needs a breather or if, uh, mm -hmm. you know, if they want a deep shot or if, if they need a better blocker for Samuel. But for right now, it's clear that Samuel's not a hundred percent and he's just not worked his way back. Uh, into this offense so I like the Hollins call uh, for right now and MVS I mean he's 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 always there but the fact that he's still the like kind of like the number five guy um five-ish like that's 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 concerning 